In this video, we'll be talking about estimating certs. Let's start with an example, square root of 26. Now this may look difficult, but it's actually quite simple if you know a certain technique. Let's try the square root of 16 first, because we know that that is 4. And if you're unsure, you can easily do what is called the ladder method. The ladder method works as follows. You write the number 16 and you divide it by its highest or its lowest prime factor. So let's take 2 for example. So you say 16 divided by 2, you get 8. Divided by 2 is 4. Divided by 2 is 2. And divided by 2 is 1. There are four twos, so let's write a four. And let's make that a power and put the base as two. So in other words, two to the power of four is equal to 16. Now, let's take the square root of two to the power of four. Now, if you remember your exponents rules, if anything is to the power, it means it's an exponent on an exponent, and if it's a square root, it means it's to the power of a half. So what you do is you say two is your base, and you say your powers are four times by a half, as an exponent is being raised to an exponent. Therefore, your answer is two squared, and your final answer is four. Easy game. Now let's move on and try and solve 26. So let's try the ladder method with 26. You take 2 again. So 26 divided by 2, you get 13. 13 divided by 2 doesn't work, so you do use 13, as it's the only prime number that goes into 13. So 26 is equal to the square root of 2 times by 3. That is provided 26 is underneath a square root sign. Now, we can say the square root of 26 is close to the square root of 25. So if we take the square root of 25, we know that that's 5, because 5 times 5 is 25. Now let's try 6. Let's square 6. So we'll say 6 times 6, it's 36, and then put a square root sign. 26 is between 25 and 36, therefore the square root of 26 is less than 6, and greater than 5. And that's your answer. Easy game. Just in case that was somewhat confusing, let's do another example. Let's do the cube root of 49. So once again, let's try something like 3 cubed. Now 3 cubed is 3 times 3 times 3. So 3 times 3 is 9, times 3 is 27. So we can agree that that's less than 49. So let's try 4 cubed. 4 cubed is 4 times 4 is 16, times 4 is 64. 49 lies between 27 and 64. Therefore, the cube root of 49 is less than 4 and greater than 3. As you can see over here. 